های University of Miami, we have head coach Jim Morris, left-handed pitchers Eric Erickson, and Stephen Ewing. We will open with a statement from Coach Morris, and then we'll take questions for the student athletes, and then for Coach Morris. Well, I mean, first, as I said the other day, we're just excited to be here and host uh, a regional. You know, it's a, it's a great honor and something our players have earned to work very, very hard all year. Played a tremendous schedule. Our strength of schedule, I think, is three. Our RPI is 10. And we play in a great conference, and that combination has given us an opportunity with some consistency uh, uh, with a tough schedule to be able to be here and, and to play in a tournament. Hopefully the weather will improve very quickly, and uh, we'll be able to do everything we need to do to get ready to play the games. Jim, uh, uh, One second, please. Before you ask a question, please state your name and your affiliation. Brian London, All Canes Radio, coach uh, on the weather factor. Just has there been any discussion about No, it really hasn't. I mean, you know, in Miami, as you know, the sun can come out next uh, next hour, the next hour, and everything be clear. I know it's sixty percent chance today and tomorrow, and uh, but the field's in great shape. It's been covered since last night. Uh, if it quits raining, then we play, and you just that's the way you can shape terms. The good news is the weather forecast late Sunday, Monday's good. So uh, it's better that the forecast is bad early than late because you can move games back. Whereas if you you get it late and you're in trouble. So uh, there hasn't been any talk. Hopefully uh, the games will be on time tomorrow and we'll be able to play. Coach, you, uh, George Mullen in Palm Beach Post. Can you uh, talk about your rotation that you have it set up? I guess Stephen going first or? Uh, actually, Erickson's going first. We haven't really set the rotation up completely. So uh, I'm not sure uh, uh, when we're going to set up. We're going to get to see the clubs and make some evaluations based on uh, tomorrow. And all of our starters will be ready to throw whichever day we feel like it's better to throw a left-hander or a right-hander against, uh, you know, the, you know, the appropriate team. And uh, uh, these guys didn't have to throw off the mound today, so uh, uh, that's why they're here. Our other guys are actually working out at a workout center right now, and and some of them are throwing off the mound. And our hitters are hitting in cages. Any decision to go with Eric first? Well, we, you know, he's been our number one guy all year, and. Uh, uh, we felt like it's the right guy to throw against him from the scouting report. And that's basically what we, we look at. Uh, they've got the, the lowest uh, or the highest winning percentage in the country. Every one of them's got their, their things. I mean, they're the highest winning percentage in the, in the country in the last two years. And we know they're an outstanding club. And we think that he's the right guy to throw against them. Hey, Coach, uh, Max Sodell from Team Sport and Rivals.com. Uh, I was curious if you were able to, A, get any film on Stony Brook, and B, what you sort of have found out about that team in their program. Well, I mean, we've we've gotten some scouting reports on them. There's no film that we've been able to to get. Uh, if any of you guys can help us with that, I'd appreciate it. Uh, we haven't been able to find any uh, from that other than, you know, we've called some people in particular that played them early and, uh, from down here or or late up there, and we're trying to get as many scouting reports as we can, as much information as we can, and we'll be watching them in BP and trying to evaluate them as, as till game time. Well, I mean, the number one pitcher has real good stats. Do you know what he does well or anything about him really? Yeah, I mean, we've got a scouting report on him. And, you know, he's a right-handed pitcher. And he's got good stuff. He throws strikes. Uh, uh, and he throw any pitch over the plate, doesn't throw that hard. Kind of a three-quarter angle guy. and uh, uh, But he's right-handed, and he's 84 to 88 with a, you know, with a good breaking ball. Um, you know, no, I wasn't surprised. You know, there was a bunch of ideas, um, you know, flying around, and JD told me I was going to go on Friday. You know, so I'm, uh, so I guess they're going to stick with with our normal rotation. It seems like, but uh, I'm really excited. You know, really excited to get out there, and you know, I'm staying on the same schedule. You know, and I've been in a rhythm throwing Friday nights all year, so this uh, it should be a you know a smooth week, and you know, hopefully we can jump up and get the first win. How hard is it not? Oh, Susan Miller Ben here, Miami Herald. How hard is it? Um, 
Um, it's not a you know, it's not a it's not an issue. You know, I, I attack uh, I I attack all the teams the same way, and um, you know JD's JD's done an excellent job calling pitches for uh, for the pitching staff this year. So you know I know he's done his homework, and uh, you know I'm just going to attack these hitters aggressively and, uh, and do the best I can keeping them off balance. Eric, can you talk about you know just being in this position? Obviously, you came back for a reason. I imagine this is it. Yeah. Just being uh, and just how excited and you know sort of what this means. Uh, yeah. This particular year for you. You know, the, this is the reason I'm back. You know, the, um, this uh, you know, this is this is the best. This is the best part about college baseball. Um, you know, I think this is a, a great opportunity for everybody on this team, and. You know, I think uh, you know it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to be in this position, and you know I'm excited, and I, I know and I know everybody else on the team is very excited about this. Hey Steven, I guess from what Tim said, you know, you don't know yet if you're pitching Saturday or Sunday. Um, I, I know you guys have a set regimen for how you get prepared, you know, during the week. Does does any does it, is there anything different you have to do just not knowing yet if you're playing different on a Thursday or a Friday now that you have to sort of switch up just because you're not sure if you go Saturday or Sunday depending on what happens in that first game? 